Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's really cloudy, so I hope the lighting is okay for the video. But this is another bed bug video. Um, guys, you know I come to you all the time. I have so many videos. I have over 50 bed bug videos um, in my playlist. And I always talk about bed bugs and uh, whether you have them or not, just putting God to make his earth down and things. So you could, if you ever encounter them, you will not have to deal with the serious, uh, the seriousness of the bites like um, some of us have. But it's to a point now where these bugs are really, really, really destroying lives. I mean, they are really ruining people's lives mentally. And I've seen where a lot of the top tier hotels are going through a lot of bed bug issues. These are five star hotels, just as well as motels where you might pay, not pay as much to uh, have, get a room overnight or however, but I'm talking about five star hotels. Um, I've just recently seen, I'm not going to name any of the hotels, but this is just to let you guys know, as I always do that, this is a serious issue. This is not something that I just choose to come on YouTube to just constantly talk about for views or things like that. I want the views because I want people to understand how serious this is. And people don't understand until they, until they come across it or unless they come across them. But when I tell you five-star hotels, they're having some big issues with them. Also, I do remember some years ago, this is before um, I ever really heard about bed bugs, you know, besides this good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. I remember someone telling me that they stayed at a hotel, or not a hotel, but at a, at a little motel before, and they had gotten really, they had gotten bit up, them and their partner. And I do remember her mentioning something about bed bugs, but that was it never thought about it again or anything and years later uh and not that many years later um a few years later i encountered them so i mean you just never know and when she told me about the bed bugs when she mentioned it because they were um, trying to sue the motel she never uh, talked about how bad the bites were or itchy or it messed with her them mentally or things like that. So that's why I guess I didn't, you know, really take heed to it. I heard her. But if she would have talked about it the way that people are talking about it now, like these people saying their lives are ruined. They don't think they'll ever be the same. They don't know if they can ever get past this. Uh, somebody, some couple people say they wanted to burn their house down. Uh, somebody, a couple of people even said they, they thought about killing themselves. You know, this is not a joke. It's not a joke. But um, I did come back. The reason I came back is to say that a lot of five-star hotels are popping up with bed bugs and it's not just it's, this is not just happening it's been happening but it's been talked about a lot more because the problem i mean i guess they might have thought they got the problem under control but this it's not under control you can uh get they can go away well it can seem like they gone away or you gotten rid of them because they'll stop biting but as i stated in another video they can uh stop they don't have to feed for up to 400 days they can go into hiding and stay in hiding for a while, but they hide in, in everywhere. They have the light sockets, out, I mean, the outlets, the sockets. Um, they had anywhere, in the walls, anywhere. So just because you're not getting dated, you're not getting bit for a while, and then all of a sudden you're getting bit again, you probably think you got them again. No, it, it, more than likely you probably never got rid of them. It's just that they hibernated, went into some type of hibernation. So again, this is serious guys. And a lot of folks love to travel. A lot of folks love traveling out of the country. A lot of folks like taking vacations. I know uh, a few people that travel on a regular. They are always gone somewhere. They're always gone somewhere. So you can get them anyway. You can get them off of the plane. 
<laughs> you can get them out of the hotel room, you can get them out of the grocery store, you can get them out of a bathroom, you can get out of somebody's house, you can get these bugs anywhere. So just it's, um, food for thought. I would carry diatomaceous earth around everywhere I go. I really would. I really would. Especially if I'm going somewhere and I know I'm going to be there for a few days, three or four days a week. I'm going to have to power the place down. It's going to have to be powdered down if I'm going to be there. And I'm going to powder down because I know where to put it as far as where, where they mainly hide. I, would, I know where to put it. But yeah, guys, this is serious. So that's what I came back to say. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video.